everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new thanks for stopping by today we're going to make sweetheart soap and it's going to look super cute we have embeds we're going to pipe little leaves on top and it's going to be like a pink on a light pink kind of center soap and yeah let me show you the colors today i'm going to use ballet slippers from mad micas super cute light pink mica Gonna take a portion of this, lighten it up with some titanium dioxide. For the leaves that we're gonna pipe on top, I'm gonna use, let me show you the label first. Manacle P from Mad Micas. It's just so vibrant, green. I always love using this one for my leaves. Then titanium dioxide from Mad Micas as well. We're going to use Sweetheart Roses from Nature's Garden. It's a light, powdery rose scent. If you watched my other videos, you know that I'm kind of sensitive to rose scents. And this one's actually really good. It's not overbearing like, oh my god, that's smacking me in the face rose. My lye water is cooled down. My oils are cooled down. I got a little bit of lye lint because it was kind of chilly in the house today. But that's all good. And yeah. And yeah. Let's get to making soap. Now the notes of the fragrance oil states that it does accelerate slightly. So I'm not going to go too crazy with blending this up. I'm just going to get it past, just past the motion. Put this in a safe spot. That looks good right there put this off to the side now I'm going to split my batch into two well kind of two not like even two I'm going to split it off like this because I don't want too much light pink I just want some that's good well let's do a little more add our colorant in and we also need to pull some off to the side for the green that should be good let that just sit and chill out by itself for a little bit Pro tip, always put the lid back on your mica. Always. I had a mess one time. I forgot what color it was, but man, I didn't use that color for a long time after that. I'm gonna just blend this up in here. Definitely gonna need some more mica for this badge.
give this a quick blend. titanium dioxide to this side. Looking pretty good. I'm going to add in our fragrance oil. Give this a good quick mix. I'm gonna go ahead and add maybe in. Oh, did you guys see that? Oh, we're gonna add in some voodoo to that side, make it a little darker. And look what I got I still have one. Isn't that awesome? After that, I don't think I'm going to have much left. Poor. I got really thick.
very subtle difference between the two colors, and I'm, I love that. Right, let me bang these down just a tad. All right, I'm gonna clean up, smooth out these tops, and I'll bring them back for the embeds. We're gonna add these cute little rose embeds right on top. I have some darker pink ones, and I have some lighter pink ones here. Try to alternate these guys. Scarlet, yes. you're making noise. Now that that's done, I'm gonna mix up the green for the leaves. All right, we are back a couple days later. I made this up on a Friday and I forgot about it. <laughs> and honestly, it's Tuesday, it's still good. So today we are going to pipe the leaves on top. Now, I did have questions in my mind. I'm like, I don't know if I wanted to actually do the leaves or if I wanted to just to paint the top like in a gold to make it really you know like the roses really pop out and whatnot so i took a picture asked my buddies in my soaping group and they're all were basically like you gotta do the leaves i'm like well crap i am and i'm like well crud i am terrible with piping leaves i can pipe pretty much everything else but leaves have always given me an issue you might see it in a minute that like when i pipe like 
and it creates like an open tip, which is fine. I can take like a toothpick and smush it and make it look all make it look all pretty. Um, but yeah, I did spritz it down. The embeds are made out of melt and pour, and in my climate, they always get sweaty. Even low sweat gets sweaty. So I just kind of spritz it with a what is it, 91% isopropyl alcohol to kind of get rid of that dew look on top. So while those are still kind of drying, I am going to mix up the silk frosting, which I will leave the recipe in the description box below. Yay! Okay, let's see. Let's push this to the side. Oh, I need to hook up my stick blender. That would help. You don't have to use a stick blender to mix up your life solution and oils. There are ways around using a stick blender if you feel intimidated by these guys. I totally get it. When I started soaping way back in my day, back in 2003, I used a whisk. And it did take a while. But eventually I formulated my recipe to where it sped up. So a couple minutes with a whisk, I had nice thin trace, I was good to go. If you guys want to see a video on that, like, leave me a message in the comment section saying, hey, we would like to know the other techniques on how not to use a stick blender. I'll be, I'll be down for making a video for that. I, I was very intimidated to use a stick blender when I first started. Um... I was overwhelmed. I didn't like the, the fact that I could, you know, hurt myself with it. So I stuck with a whisk for quite some time. And then eventually I was like, you know what? Gotta do it. Gotta get a stick blender. And I want to say this one here is my original one. Yes, that's my original stick blender. I think I got it in 2006. So... Since this is going to be a single color, I have little chunks of cocoa butter still melting and that's totally fine. I'm gonna blend that up really quick. The color that we're going to use is the same color I showed you at the beginning of this video is Manacle P by my Micah's. Very lovely green color. Matter of fact, what I did with the, oh, look at that, I actually have two, how funny. I have two of those. What I did with the soap batter that I pulled from the bat main batch earlier in this video, I made the cutest little, oh, let me get one, cold process cactus. I can't wait. I don't even know what to do with them. I have a bunch of them now. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. So I'm going to go ahead and put my color in there. My oils are pretty warm. My live solution is pretty warm. This should go thicken up pretty quick. Let's see, I have. guys I'm having a lot of fun right now so I think I'm gonna mix in a little bit of radioactive neon just to give it some pop yes that makes me so happy maybe I should do an all neon so if I think I have all the neons from Mad Micah's I'm gonna check that out so Use this, give this a quick blend. Now be very careful mixing up low batches of oil like this because it, it can just go everywhere. Okay, going to add in the lye solution. That came out so pretty. Look at that color. Really hard to mix 
this. Okay, put that to the side. Let that set up for a bit, and I'll bring you guys back when it's nice and ready to pipe. All right, we're back. It's all ready to go. I'm going to put it in the piping bag, and yeah. Oh, and the tip that I'm using today is uh, an Atico 112. It's down there. I don't feel like bringing it out of the cup. That's kind of a pain for me. Anyways, all right, so let's see here. Oh, what is... You know what? It's good. Oh, I did it! I made a leaf. Not one, not so much. See, I always have difficulties with these, but that's okay. I'm just gonna keep going with it. I think they're coming out cute. Just prepare them just a tad. See, that's why I, that little split in the center is what I have difficulties with. Let's see if I can clean that tip out. Well, that one turned into a giant blob. It's just not coming out in the center. You know what? There. We're just gonna make it work. are super shaky right now for some reason. So let this be like, I guess, um, a helpful tip or moral support, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. It doesn't matter. Just go with it. I'm not coming out like everybody else's. Who cares? I like mine. Mine are pretty. And that's that. <laughs> and that's how I feel about that. That's that's what's up. So what I'm going to what I, oh, that one almost came out. What I'm doing is laying it flat cuz it's not coming out in the center. Turning it to the side, laying it flat, turning to the side to get a leaf effect. Oh, I almost had that one. Almost had that one too.
I think the color came out so nice. Just a bunch of squiggles. Y'all get it. And maybe it's in a rose bush. There it goes. Not the leaves. It's the whole like bush. <laughs> I like it. We're gonna just roll with that. There we go. The consistency of the soap frosting is amazing. And it's set up literally in like 10 minutes. From the time I, you guys watched me pour it and mix, mix it together. So right before I bagged it. So now I have a ton of soap frosting. So let me, maybe we'll just fill in a little bit of the gaps. Okay, we're back to day 682 of what it feels okay well we're back finally i feel like it's been 862 days since i've begun this soap adventure i started this well for me last week you guys get to see it within 20 minutes and yeah i just want to get this done <laughs> i can't wait to cut it finally so i apologize for the background i got a lot of things going on i've been rearranging the soap room um yeah it's a it's it's a mess, but it's okay. So, I'm gonna cut this, but this end piece doesn't count. Oh, good, it's still soft. Bloop! <laughs> That's cute. Little blob in the center. That's all good. still very cute I was really concerned that the colors were very very similar but that's the look I was going for so let's see what the rest looks like oh that molten pour is a little tough to cut through with this I have to take it really slow with the embeds on top. And that's what the top looks like. Isn't that just adorable? I'm just loving the colors. Some more blob action. That tends to speed things up as well. When cutting through melt and pour embeds, be very careful and very slow. You can easily pop a wire. So I got more blob action in the center. That's cool. Can be like a neat block test or something. I don't know. I didn't want a chance trying to swirl it in the center in case it was like really thick. I've done that once and the results were not so cute.
this will be a part of my Valentine's Day collection. I hope. <laughs> I am not wearing my famous hot pink jacket today. I decided just to wear my long sleeve shirt. And it's gloomy. Like there's like not much sun out there today. So I've been on TikTok a lot. I am not even gonna lie. I've been on there way too much. Put on a couple videos, acting silly, posting my soaps over there as well. I actually did a blind, I guess you would call it a blind reaction test. Um, when I got in new fragrance oils, including this particular one. If you guys wanna go check it out, my TikTok is, uh, the link is down below. And you can also find it on my YouTube channel banner. You'll see the little TikTok. I feel bad because I kind of like left Facebook and Instagram. I still post on Instagram every once in a while, but I like, I, I like acting silly on TikTok. I am watching all the craziness over there, like people's random videos. They're just too funny. This soap cutter, I made myself. I actually, <laughs> oh my God, you guys. <laughs> Do you see what that looks like? Oh no. It's an upside down heart. <laughs> oh geez. Might have to keep those for my personal collection. end piece here and then I will cut the other loaf. I do plan on upgrading this cutter. So I came up with the design. My buddy made it for me. And I absolutely love it, but there are some upgrades that I'm going to do to it, like the bottom board. I'm going to definitely change to marine board. And I'm going to figure out a way to make this a lo uh, loaf splitter. Like I'm thinking I'm going to cut a notch here and here, or however, more, you know, at increments. And I'm just going to sink this in. That way it holds. Or maybe I can, well, it definitely needs to be down here. That way it splits my soap for me thinking about that one for a while now I don't know exactly how I'm going to make that work I've been using this soap cutter for three years now I got a little swirl going on over there Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut all this up, take some listing photos, and yeah. If you guys enjoyed the video, please, by all means, give it a good old thumbs up, leave a comment, share the video, all that fun jazz. You all know the drill. And yeah. Talk to y'all later.